This right here is the living room. Lewis Morris gives a tour of an Arsenal Avenue house that isn't much to look at. Laundry room. Rundown and mostly forgotten about for years. Tony Roberts only came over this summer as a city contractor, charged with cutting the grass and removing debris. But as he walked around back for the first time, he found more than trash. There's a guy living in the backyard. The guy was Lewis. I just went on set my bed up here. Every night, he explains, he slept on a mattress wrapped in plastic. In the day, he spent time on the front porch. And just like the house, he felt run down and mostly forgotten until Tony took interest in his story. There had to be something attracting him to this property. I didn't know what it was. Lewis explained it. This was his mother's house. Her name was Vera Jean. He lived here with her for years in his early 20s following his service overseas in the Marine Corps. Vera Jean died in 2003, and Lewis turned to drugs and alcohol, resigning himself to a transient life. Different cities, different states. It was times that, that uh, I wish I could take back. Yeah. A homeless veteran living among the weeds and mosquitoes of his mother's house is not this man's last chapter. He needs a hand up, not a hand out. Fast forward a few weeks, Lewis is swinging a hammer, renovating his house, pouring sweat equity into what he will soon once again call home. Tony bought the place back from the city and is getting help from veterans groups to make it move in ready. You see somebody who society or for, for one reason or another is, is kind of given, given up on, um, but clearly there's a lot left there. He just, he needed a chance. Forgotten, no more. That goes for the house and the man. Like I won the lottery. I beyond my wildest dreams. Chance Walser, RTV6.